Today we are going to be talking about distributive property algebraic expressions. But before we continue on the problems, we're just going to do a review on our negatives and positives. You're going to remember that a positive times a positive is always going to give us a positive. A positive times a negative is always going to give us a negative. A negative times a negative is going to give us a positive. And a negative times a positive equals a negative. Our first problem will be 4 times 2 minus 3n. First, we'll be multiplying 4 times 2, and then we'll be multiplying 4 times 3n. 4 times 2, so we'll be doing 4 times 2, and then we'll be multiplying 4 times negative 3n. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is negative 12, and so that will be our answer. Negative 3 parentheses times 5 minus 7v. Same thing, we'll multiply negative 3 times 5, and we'll multiply 3 times negative 7. We'll multiply negative 3 times 5, and we'll be multiplying negative 3 times negative 7 v. Going back to what we were talking about earlier today, negative times a positive is going to give us a negative. Negative 3 times 5 is going to be negative 15. A negative times a negative is going to give us a positive. 3 times 7 is 21V. So your answer is going to be negative 15 plus 21V. Negative times negative 6 minus x. Every time you don't have a number, you should already know that it has an imaginary 1 in here. So you'll be multiplying negative 1 times negative 6 and negative 1 times negative x. Don't forget to put the imaginary 1 there. Negative 1 times negative 6, and then we're going to do negative 1 times negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 6 is 6, then a negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 times 1 is 1x. So your answer is 6 plus x. Negative 20, parentheses, 9x plus 4. We'll be doing negative 20 times 9x and negative 20 times 4. Negative 20 times 9x. And Negative times a positive is going to be a negative 20 times 4. So negative, negative times a positive is going to give you a negative. 2 times 9 is 18. So we have 1 0 here, no zeros here. So we just put 1 0. X. Then we got negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 4 is 
8, and we only have 1, 0. So your answer is negative 180x minus 80.